Welcome to day 24. I am at absolute scale, plateau, doesn't move, and I eat. I'm not starving myself. Uh, this morning I had fantastic eggs with shrimp and cheese mixed up together. And it was wonderful. I am right now recording this a little late because stay tuned to the end because we got a little something special on the way out. But myself and Noy, we went to Macro to get some carnivore food. And I went in and Noy went to the ATM machine. And I went into a place where they sell the water. And I just, I sat down on one of these little stool things they have. And when I sat down on it, it totally collapsed and threw me to the floor and I landed on my right shoulder and I have not been able to raise my hands or my right hand. Uh, I haven't been able to raise that at all uh, the first night. I mean serious pain. I debated whether I fractured my shoulder or whether I knocked my shoulder out of joint, but there was no swelling. There was no bruising outside, black and blue or anything. And I just didn't think it was totally knocked out. I think I may have strained the ligaments somehow or the other. Uh, I'm making this a day late, but it'll be posted on time. And I hope it's getting a little better. I, I didn't want to go to the hospital. And there's a little tidbit from Thailand here. In America, if this happened to Costco, the first thing to go through your mind is you're going to sue, sue Costco because the chair collapsed. Now, I am fat. That's my own fault. But you shouldn't put chairs that aren't rated for almost anybody to come in and sit on in your cafe. I mean, you see in the picture I post. But here, it's not that culture. Now, they were nice, and they all came to help me in that. And believe me, it hurt. It took me a while to get up. I landed straight on this shoulder here, just come straight down on I guess I lifted my head up so I didn't hit my head, and I didn't use my hand to try to brace myself. It went straight down on the shoulder. Perhaps I could have tried to use my hand, but something in that split second told me, don't do that. You're liable to break your wrist or your arm. So... I was just going to roll. And it's amazing how even though this thing totally collapsed with no, like, no, just, it didn't give just a little. It just, it just folded up like an accordion. And the picture you're seeing is after some guy who worked there tried to stretch it back into shape. It had actually collapsed at least eight inches more. Uh, and it went so fast, it's amazing that you're, your mind thinks so quick that you don't want to break your wrist or break your arm. So you thought, well, you could roll. Well, maybe I could roll, but I didn't roll. I landed square right on this shoulder here. And uh, damn, it hurt like hell. So then I came back and uh, Noy said, what do you want to eat? And I have a brisket that's been cooking now for about 36 hours. 
And I had planned to eat a steak. But that seemed like too much because I couldn't move my right my right arm. I couldn't lift it up or anything. So I said, well, why don't you take one of those hamburgers that we just bought, frozen patties, and uh, cook that up, throw a piece of cheese on top, cut it into small little squares, and I'll just stick a fork in it with my left hand and eat it that way. And that's what I had. So uh, definitely carnivore. Wasn't for first class steak, but it wasn't fruit, vegetables, or processed food either. My biggest concern here is it's hard to find like 100%, you know, farm fresh cheese. I haven't been able to find that. It's it's all comes from somebody who makes cheese commercially. You try to get the best you can, make sure they don't put sugar in it, but you question whether or not, you know, that you could get this big block of cheese like you could find organic uh, great cheese. Can't seem to do it. If anybody knows anything about Thailand and know what better way to find cheese here, please put it in the comments. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with my arm. I didn't want to go to the hospital with it. And it hurts less today than it did last night. So an improvement's an improvement. I don't really want to go to the hospital. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for something special. And that's the end.